about ready to enter the Arctic now. So we'll, we can hop up here. Oh, wow. Nailed. Welcome back, everybody to Icarus. I'm an old guy. Gaming in in this episode, we're going to look at a crocodile tail sticking out of the rock up there. Um, no, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to... Well, I actually haven't decided yet if we're going to continue our expedition or if we're going to go back home. And the reason for that is because... I have, um, if you if you did not know this, uh, I did a live stream over the weekend. Actually, two separate live streams, one on Saturday afternoon and one on Sunday. A multiplayer live stream where we did the f first two sticks missions. So the first mission, I can't remember what it's called, but then the second one was the Ricochet mission, uh, which should have theoretically unlocked the blockage from this cave here so that we can get back into the desert through there and not have to go through the Arctic and, and put down ramps to climb back up these um, these ledges here. So I'm kind of... Looks like our critters are still alive. <laughs> That's the other thing, man. If we don't get back fairly soon, they're going to probably succumb. Um. So anyway, I, I want to... I kind of want to see if if that has opened back up for us. But what we will do is we'll we'll head north and we'll stay along this, uh, you know, western side of the canyon before, until we get to here. Uh, we did go up into the Arctic a little ways here for the first mission. We had to kill our polar bear boss. And by the way, you can always see those live streams later on. They are on the channel in the stream, uh, you know, past live streams section. And, um, but I think once we get kind of up into this area we're going to cut back across and and see if that's opened and if it is i think we're going to head on back to the base and you know reestablish, you know get get food for the animals hopefully they won't die reestablish the crops that sort of thing and then kind of figure out what we're going to do from there uh, now it is my intention with to there's a bear up there uh, it is my intention to Continue doing live streams on the weekends, um, multiplayer live streams with my uh, Discord members. Well, my my channel members, I should say. Um, and the next very next mission that we are planning on doing is going to be the Zephyr mission, uh, which will unlock the blockage uh, right here and allow us to more easily uh, get cross over into the Great River, uh, you know, from that way and not having to come all the way down through the south there however that's not probably not going to happen this coming weekend uh, today is the 21st of february uh because i have to i have to leave again on, on another trip uh, next week and i'll be gone all next week for work so um but it's possible that we will it just kind of depends upon you know it, how much how the timing of all that works out i guess is what i'm trying to say okay so anyway let's um Let's go ahead and just kind of work our way north here uh, along this side of the the map. We were we were down in this area on the live stream too, and over on this side. But we'll kind of scope it out. But like I said, once we get to our uh, you know get parallel like with the passage back um, we're going to run back over there and see if it's actually opened up it's it should be my understanding is that it it will be now that i've done that mission and and i did and i didn't do that mission on this character but i don't think that matters i think it's tied in with your account not the actual character uh well at least i hope that's the case uh, because i have i have three characters uh i have my original level 50 character i have my I have this character, which I use for the single-player open-world playthrough, and then I have a multiplayer character. And so I used my multiplayer character for all those. And my multiplayer character is not level 50 yet. So I'm still working on getting him leveled. 
But my other two, this guy and my original character, both of those guys are level 50s. So, okay. So let's um, move on through this area. As uh, I believe I mentioned in the last episode, um, several of you were keen on the idea of me uh, doing the uh, a base in that waterfall. And so I am going to tentatively plan on uh, making that happen. Okay. Let's um, feed you this these soybeans. Very good. So he's full. And then what I think I'm going to do is let's drop these and get a stack of corn. And we'll pick these ones up off the ground too. Because corn, uh, I don't know if corn's better than soybeans, um, but both of them can both, you know, fill up the animal's health or, or food bar and, you know, provide decent healing for them uh, as well. And so we'll get a stack of corn here, including picking these ones up off the ground. Well, that's weird. I can harvest this with this? Oh, I can. How weird, man. Okay. And I, I get eight uh, per two. Okay, so that gives us a full stack of corn that we'll just keep in our inventory to feed two here. Oh, I was going to eat some berries myself just for the berry buff. And let's get rid of those sticks and one of at least one of these stacks of fiber just so we're not completely... Um, bogged it down here. All right. I'm going to turn my torch off since we're in the sunlight now. And just kind of keep moving north here and checking stuff out. This is a very, uh, very rugged terrain. Look at the bunny. It's a it's a fairly uh, you know a fairly long and narrow valley, uh, but it's not not as quite as flat. Well, I don't know if flat's the right word, but the main forest area uh, is, it escapes me what the name of the region is in on the Olympus map. But you know the the main forest area that you start in is a little wider um, and not quite as many. It doesn't seem to be quite as many of these ridges and stuff in that area. From what I recall, I haven't been there in a long time. Okay, framey, framey. I hear a predator close by. Oh no, it's not a predator, it's this geyser. It sounded like a kind of like a, a growling, low growling noise, but it was the gurgling of the geyser. Yeah, so the missions that we did, um, I had this crazy idea to do the very first mission on hard difficulty and hardcore. And we realized that the Styx missions are they're they're not up in difficulty than the Olympus missions. They're, they are not easy. So we did the second one, the second mission we did. We did in hard difficulty, but not hardcore. All right. Uh, sorry about that. My my dad called my cell phone, but I th think he might have butt dialed me. <laughs> he wasn't answering when I picked up, so. If he calls again in a couple of seconds, then I'll know he probably was trying to get hold of me. Um, anyway, all right, let's see. What were we talking about? I can't remember. Oh, yeah, we were talking about the sticks missions and how, uh, how that, you know, that they're harder than the Olympus missions, from what I remember anyways. And so when we did Ricochet, uh, we did it on hard difficulty, but we didn't, we didn't do it on hardcore. 
and it was tough, man. Uh, we we almost wiped. Uh, I don't want to spoil anything for some of you, you know, who may not have done those missions yet. What do we got coming in? Stupid flash storm. Um, but there's there's kind of two major parts to that mission, uh, two major encounters, I guess I should say. And the first encounter was way more difficult than we had anticipated, and we barely survived it. And then the second encounter. Um, we wiped. We actually all wiped. Um, so a couple of us revived, went back to the base and kind of re-geared up and then went back and revived the other two. So, you know, so we all four weren't taking the, the penalty, right? Um, so yeah, the Styx missions, um, they're a bit tougher than, uh, than the Olympus missions are. And that, I'm cool with that. I like, I like the fact that there's more of a challenge to them. I'd almost be curious to to try try them in single player too, uh, because when you play multiplayer, the game kind of scales things up to you know multiple people. But uh, if if those missions were the same in single player, you know it, that they were in the multiplayer, that would be extremely challenging to to survive on that. Part of why we had. Uh, such a struggle with the first encounter though was we weren't we weren't properly prepared because we just weren't expecting it to be as hard as it was um, but we did manage to get through it so again if you guys are interested uh, you can definitely watch the live streams uh, for that stuff. all right are we where are we at yeah okay we're, we're about ready to enter the arctic now so we'll, we can hop up here oh wow got zapped. Dang, man. <laughs> Brutal. I mean, I'm not... I'm not taking damage, uh, but we, we still have the red blood splatter on the screen, which is odd. So, yeah, we, we did come up here into this snow biome uh, to, to do part of the first mission. I won't say anything more than that, because I don't want to spoil it for anybody, but uh, we did come up here. Um, and you know what? There's a cave across the way here. If we go back... If we go back this way, we won't be going back through this Arctic bomb. But you know what? We did find a cave over here with mushrooms. Um, but let's... Oh, there's a mammoth. Is he hostile or is he neutral? Hey, eh? Are you mean? No, I guess he's neutral. So he's, he's probably the same, you know, the same temperament as the elephants are in the desert. Okay. Anyway, let's um, let's just pop into this cave really quick uh, and see if it is indeed an Arctic cave. Because if it is, I'll probably grab some mushrooms, but... If it looks like they're going to spoil before we get back, then we can always also pop into that other cave. All right, so you stay there. Oh, we're going to need a room. That sounds like a polar bear. Let's get rid of that stuff. How did I get water in these thermoses? Oh, I'll bet you they filled up when I was maybe drinking at one point. When I, I didn't really mean to put water in there. But you know what? We don't necessarily need them anyways. And I threw out my cocoa, and it's getting cold. Okay, well, here. Let's not dilly-dally, then. Uh, let's just pop in here really quick. Yes, this is a, an arctic cave with mushrooms. Got some iron here. Okay. Uh, we definitely don't want the stone. I'll try and hang on to the iron. You know what? We're not going to need all of these ramps because, well, 
Here, let's just keep one stack of ramps. Just in case we do end up having to go back through the Arctic after all. Um, here, let's eat those to get another space. We can get fiber easily later. Well, actually, here, we'll hang on to it for a minute. Okay. So let's pick these up. The more of these we grab, the longer the overall stack will last uh, to get us back home. Um, right here. I think we can jump down here. Gives us 28. And I think that's the end of this gate. Keep one up here. Let's grab them. Alright. That should... Uh, be just about everything. Now, can you get out of here if you don't have ramps? Oh yeah, you could you could really mess yourself up by getting stuck in here, couldn't you? I wonder if it's possible. I'm just doing this for science, not because I need to, because I know I have ramps, but would it be possible to Ah, okay. So it is possible to get out of here without ramps. Well, that's good to know. All right, two. Follow me. Let's get out of here. We're not. Yeah, we're we're cold. We need to get the heck out of this snow bomb. Uh oh, can you not get through there, buddy? Sorry. Can you come out now? How about now? There you go. Okay. Let's beat feet out of here. He's cold, man. We do have the cold buff, but we're not like losing health, so it's not exceedingly cold, but if a storm starts, then that would not be good. But I would imagine these mushrooms will, will definitely last us all the way back home. We'll lose a few of them, but not the whole stack. Okay, so yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to cross back over to the other side of the valley and go back the way that we came and I'm expecting to find that cave opened up. Oh man, is the game going to do that stupid bug where it doesn't get rid of the frost off the screen? I might have to... I might have, yeah, I'm going to have to relock. Alright, I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. And uh, all the frost is gone, so that's good. And let's head across the valley here. Okay, I can see from here that the cave does indeed look open. And uh, if you didn't catch the live stream, uh, we built our base right on this end of the island here uh, to do do the mission. But yeah, it looks like it's open from here. Uh, let's get all the way up there just to confirm, though. 
I still really like this area. So picturesque. You know, I suppose one thing you could do, it'd be a bit of a pain in the neck, but until they, you know, they come up with a mechanic that lets you replant trees, you could build your base among trees, and then if a storm's coming, just run away from the base. It, you know, because trees will only fall down uh, in the, the vicinity of the player. Uh, if they didn't, then there would be no trees on the entire map <laughs> when the storms came in. So, um... Yeah, it's open. Look at that. Fantastic. All right. Um, so, yeah, let's uh, move on through here. And uh, they still have the bug where we don't even need a, a torch while we're on our critter. So we can we can come here at some point and get all the ore out of this place, too. So this this wall here was the blockage. Um, that you you know th there's actually two places that are blocked but this is one of them that you had to to break down to get through here all right well that saves us the hassle of having to move through the arctic then you know to get through it's still going to be ideally though uh, better for us to to clear this passage here which will happen uh wait a minute no not that passage i'm sorry this passage here uh, which will happen when we do the Zephyr mission uh, in multiplayer. All right, cool. Well, that is really good to know. And it's nice that that passage is now open for us, in addition to all the ore that we can pull out of it, too, if we need to. All right, well, I'm going to run back home. And then uh, I'll bring you guys back once we get home. We will kind of check on things around there, get some mushrooms planted in the garden, and that's going to open up a few more uh, nice recipes for us as well. So I'll see you guys back at the ranch. All right, we've made it back to the base. All of our crops are dead. We were expecting that to happen. Hopefully the critters are still alive, though. Oh, man, my frames are so bad. I, this game seems to have gotten worse. <laughs> um... What are we, what are we doing here? Display, overall custom. I mean, I, I have a lot of medium and low settings on, and it's just absolutely terrible. Terrible frames. I have no idea what's going on. It's very frustrating now. Anyway, all right, let's um hop in here, and all the critters are alive. Oh, they even still have food. Look at that. How about that? Okay. They have food and water. So we didn't have to worry about them at all. And we're good to go. Yeah, let's put some light on too. Okay. Home sweet home. So the first thing we're going to need to do, everything's probably dead in here. Oh, no, it's not, actually. Wow, I'm impressed. Um, Let's grab some fuel. And we still have 46 mushrooms on us, too, which is great. We put those in there. First thing we want to do is get the Jenny started that powers the refrigerator, which is this one. And uh, we'll switch this one out as well, but I'm not going to actually turn that one on yet. Okay. Um, let's get the... Generator back going uh, in the garden. So the water, because uh, that also runs the water. Well, that does what run the water pump. That's what it does. And we're going to have to go around and gather up all of the uh, ore out of our, our drills uh, scattered around the place, too. And then, of course, I'm going to have to pick all of these dead crops um, and replant them, which won't be a big deal to do. So 
So yeah, I, so I think guys what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to replant the crops. I'm going to go check all of our drills and empty them out because they're all probably chocked full, particularly uh, the solar powered ones. And, uh, you know, clean out the water, the water wheels. And then I think what we'll do in the next episode is th there's a couple of things I want to do before we leave again. I want to uh, do a bit of a base expansion here on our base. And I want to try the thumper out, make, make the thumper and give it a try. Um, so that is what's coming up in the next episode. I want to, uh, I want to once again... Uh, just remind everybody that I am going to be gone all next week. Um, so I'm leaving, flying out on Sunday. And I'll be gone for that, the entire rest of the week. And, and um, hold on a second. Yeah, so I leave on Sunday the 26th. And I won't be back until the following Sunday or Monday, the 5th or the 6th. I'm not sure exactly what day I'm coming back. Uh, and I'll be gone all that week. Uh, it is my intention to get out, to get at least one more Icarus video out before then. Um, uh, but if not, then I will definitely, you know, resume the series uh, when I do get back from that trip. Okay. Uh, so, with that being said, thank you everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed uh, this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.